Hey, what's up? That was weird. Ever since the day that you went away. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, whoa, I flew a mold. Eh, okay. We're gonna be creating these lips. They're quite cool, actually. They're quite cool, actually. Kylie Jenner lips. Mm -hmm. I'm out. I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. I, I literally can't. As if Kylie has is the only one that has lips. I can't say anything, though. I thought it would be cool. This is an incense thing where you can just put a little thing of incense and it looks really dope. Well, we're gonna test this out with doing alcohol inks and show you guys how to work alcohol ink. Now, I don't wanna say I'm the pro at alcohol inks because I kinda suck at just working with that. It's so bad. But let's see how it goes. And if you guys like it, thank you for liking it. And if you guys don't, I'm sorry, but what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Yeah. Okay, let's just jump right in. What, what? Aren't you gonna change? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys change. No jewelry, no things like this. <laughs> I forgot to film before and after, so you're gonna see me change already, so. Yeah. As always, grab your two resin chemicals and just mix them together, bro. Whoa. Now, start mixing your resin in circular motions and go slow. Don't make it quick because you don't want to cause a lot of bubbles. And don't use a cup like this that has edges because it can cause friction and make more bubbles. Now a tip that I will give you guys is to not use a stick as thin as this one because it will take you more to mix your resin up. And the more you stir, the more likely you are to get more bubbles. Now the amount of bubbles that you get, it all depends on the density and the type of resin you're using. Now in my case, I wanted to test this out first before I knew how to work with this mold. So I'm using a resin that I don't use that much, but I can degas quite well actually. Not well enough, but well. Now my favorite way to get rid of bubbles is by using a vacuum chamber as you can see. Always use a mask because fumes are toxic like your ex. Now just wait it out. Now I forgot the more bubbles you have to degas, the more likely your resin is to just, you know, look at this, overflow, you know, with beauty and grace and disaster. Now if you guys were wondering, this mold is by AJ Mold. So if you guys are interested, I'll be leaving her Instagram and her website in the description box below. Now when we start pouring our resin, I personally always do a thin coat of resin it doesn't matter if it's a 3d cast like this one or a flat mold i just want to make sure that all those bubbles are out and about in this case we're going to be adding dried botanicals for our first layer i forgot to film myself adding the botanicals but let's be real it's actually a pretty obvious step to do so you just add your botanicals and arrange them the way that you want now we'll say be careful when adding flowers like the yellow ones you guys can see right there because they have spaces between the petals that have air in them and when you press them inside of the resin bubbles come out a trick that works for me is to just gently press them down so the air bubbles can just go come out on the sides and then take your preferred heat source and pop them out. Now before we get started on working with alcohol inks, I made sure that I added a small layer so I can have the base down for the inks only. With the alcohol inks, you want to make sure you go slow because you don't want to oversaturate your mold with one color and just have a big blob going down and not let the other ones be thin through. Now let's be real. In the video you can see this going really fast and really amazing because I'm not going to show you 50 minutes or more can save you 50% or more on car insurance. No. It does not work like that. Art takes time and details are really important when creating these pieces. So make sure whatever amount you're adding is the amount you want to be at. You don't want to make a mistake that you're later on going to regret because you're not going to put your hands in there and take it out. So like I've mentioned, always take your time because you want to make sure you can practice and see how the inks and how the resin react together, whether it creates a blob, it goes down really fast, whether it creates a really cool 3D effect, 
make sure you take a mental note on all these simple factors because it really may seem like a really simple technique, but it takes time to perfect. And we're back. Now it's the next day and this baby is Pretty hard rock. Um, are you excited as I am to see what's behind this? And yeah, I'm not excited. I low-key know it ain't gonna come out the way I want it to, but let's see mold it and find out. Now, when demolding your piece, make sure you go slow. Just in case there's something that sticks and you don't want to break it. It's a really expensive mold. 20 out of 10 for the backside. It looks so cool and really dope. I just love that marbled style look. It's like a greenish forest green. And I love that gold in the side. It looks chef kiss. It reminds me of that rock that has like a really cool layers and everything. It has a hole in the middle and people do coasters of it. If anybody knows the name, please let me know in the comments below. Or not, I don't, I don't really mind. Hmm, you know what? I'm seeing it from my computer. I said that I didn't like it, but it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look amazing. Like, you know, like it's not that wild, but yeah, whatever. Now, we don't end there. There's always more to do. So, in my occasions, I like to sand the backside so it looks flat and matte. I really like the matte look. It looks more unique, more smooth, more soft touch. What I'm using right here is a rotary sander. This is used for wood and stuff, blah, 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 you know. You can get it at Home Depot and stuff. Not generally this one, but there are a lot of them that you can get. I generally use it to just leave my pieces flat so I can dome them or either just leave them a really frosted look. That's what we're doing in this occasion. It takes about, I'd say, three minutes for smaller pieces, five minutes for small detailed pieces, and about ten minutes for bigger and larger pieces. It took me eight minutes for this one. Then you just want to wash your piece in warm soapy water to wash off all that excess dust that is not necessary in that piece. Now for the polishing phase. Now for the stuff I'm using, I'll make sure to leave it down in the description box because I don't remember quite certain what they're called. All I can say right now is that I'm using the car waxing machine. I forgot what it's called, it's like a buffer? I don't, I don't remember. And the polishing adhesive is something by Flitz. It's like a plastic polisher for scratches and stuff. I'll leave it down in the description box below and where I got it. Now after running my piece to the machine, I like to make sure that I double polish with a microfiber cloth. This actually does a big difference because it makes sure that all of the excess is out and it looks so smooth. Well not smooth, like really shiny. As you guys can see the backside, it looks so much better, it looks smoother, soft touch, and just way better than before. Now this is the final product. Now I'm not very happy with it, I know there are a lot of things you can do to make this better. For example, when I was working with this, not all the bubbles were out, so that means in the back, if you can see with the light, it doesn't really matter that much, but still, you can see cavities. And I'm not a fan of that. I say cavities, but it's like holes, you know. You can see the little holes right there. And another thing I wish I would have done is just wait it out. Once you apply the flowers, you're supposed to at least wait about eight to 10 hours so it wouldn't mix with the alcohol ink layer. I mean. That's pretty nice. It's pretty, pretty classy. That being said, it's not the best piece I've ever done, but we'll make more in the future or something really cool and awesome. So if you like this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, the usual, if you want to. We're always here to help, so make sure you leave a comment down below. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next time. Bye-bye.